All right, hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Niger once again, and welcome back to System Shock Radio. So, I as always have got some topics for you guys today. Hey, uh, hey, so without further ado, let's get right into it. If you've seen uh, System Shock Radio before, welcome. If not, welcome back. But if you are indeed new here, uh, we talk about a variety of things, uh, including uh, some nerd stuff. Of uh, video games, comic books, uh, some pro wrestling. We do some inspiration and so all kinds of stuff. So that if that is your kind of thing and you do go on to enjoy, of course, uh, be sure to uh, hit that like button as well as, as uh, subscribing to the channel. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're talking about is that Homelander is now oh, in uh, season not hot season uh is now in mortal kombat one or, or actually i'm not sure if mortal kombat is like doing seasons or anything like that but yeah so oh homelander her of the boys fame of course is in uh is now in mortal kombat one as of june 4th it looks like like uh like so oh oh uh uh, so oh, he is there in Mortal Kombat One. More and Mortal Kombat One and Melee still don't have yet. Heads. I probably will get it uh, once I get my next gen console or once I upgrade to a better PC. But in the meantime, uh, for fans of the boys and for fans of my camera going out of focus, here's here's that. Uh, but also for fans of the boys, uh, he's now Homelander is now in. Uh, more combat one and it makes sense coinciding with the release of season four of the boys which is set to drop tomorrow at least tomorrow at the time of recording I'm recording this uh wednesday night uh but uh, yeah so oh uh, oh uh oh it definitely makes sense to coincide with that and apparently season five is going to be the final season of the boys okay, so uh if there's not so if there's any time to catch up on the boys for myself it's now but uh, yeah so homelander coming to uh not not uh, coming anymore now in more Kombat one and not uh, and uh definitely i will also say in terms of the guest characters for more for uh, for a more Kombat one that being like the guest uh, combatants and everything and uh and not necessarily from a gameplay standpoint that's a different issue but from like a conceptual standpoint I mean, uh, I mean, uh not a bad had uh not a bad loadout. Like they pick some some definitely interesting names that fit in Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat's and uh, MO. That being of course, of course, uh, Peacemaker or Omni Man and uh, now Homelander, or uh, who who has uh who has definitely done some things. But uh, yeah, so uh, but yeah, so he's uh, now in Mortal Kombat One. But the next thing that I want to talk about. Out is that uh, we got some PS2 classics coming to uh, PlayStation 5. Uh, I've uh, Kurt, uh, that being like the PlayStation 5 uh, emulator and everything as part of like PlayStation Plus, and we got some we got some cool ones. Uh, and some ones of notes include uh, Tomb Raider Legend, which uh, I know a lot of people didn't really like the game. I, I actually had it on my PS2, never finished it, of course. But that's uh, even more interesting, Hingley, that a lot of people are happy about is the Sly Cooper game. So I believe it's uh, all four uh, of the Sly Cooper series, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of people have been begging and pleading hang, uh, day after day. I was one of those people <laughs> uh, for them to uh, to either make a new Sly Cooper game or at least port it over. And now it looks like uh, now it looks like our favorite thieving raccoon Oon, is getting his uh, time. I'm in the sun. So and so. Oh, uh, <clears throat> oh, oh, so I'm trying to see what it's, uh, uh, trying to see what it's, uh, Sly Cooper. So it looks like, it looks like it might be, he, uh, just Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus, uh, aka the first Sly Cooper game for now. Oh, uh, oh, so I imagine, and pro, so I imagine maybe later on down the line is when they'll add, uh, <clears throat> Is when they'll add uh, the later Sly Cooper game, Ames, uh, Ames obviously being like Sly 2 and uh, Sly 3 and Sly Cooper 4 these in time, but uh, but yeah, so oh, I know a lot of people are excited about that. I'm, I'm certainly excited about it as well. Hell, uh, being able to play Sly Cooper on on more modern hardware, although oh, I do still have my PS3 and it is, uh, I got the Sly Cooper games in time uh, on my. 
uh, PS3, but uh, being able to play it now on more modern hardware such as like PS4, PS5, uh, is admittedly pretty cool. So when are they gonna add the other Sly Cooper games? I'm not sure. Or I'm surprised they haven't added the, ra the like the old Ratchet and Clank game games either. Or but uh, I guess one at a time. But uh, uh, the next thing I want to talk about how oh, is that at uh, Moana 2 is also on the horizon. So it's set to release on November 27th. Uh, we uh, we have the trailers already, and uh, you guys know me, you know I don't really check out trailers, but uh, it's out there, some people kind of give me a hit some mixed reception, a lot of people are kind of saying it feels like a Disney Plus show, which, it's honestly a Disney Plus show of Moana, uh, wouldn't be, I wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be too against that, but, uh, uh, but it looks like the cast is returning for this movie, including, uh, The Rock as, uh, Maui, so I guess, so I guess that's where he went after her, uh, coming up short against Cody, at, well, well, I mean, beat Cody, but you, you know what I mean, uh, but, uh, pretty much, uh, losing the war, essentially, at WrestleMania 40, but, uh, Moana 2 on the horizon, uh, and of course the first Moana, uh, 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 I'd argue probably one of like, the best uh, modern Disney movies is I'd say it's a really solid movie. If you haven't already, I definitely recommend checking it out, but, uh, but uh, having a sequel here, sequels. Uh, admittedly, especially with Disney, uh, definitely kind of hit or miss. So hopefully, 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 he works out. But, uh, but, but uh, yeah. So, oh, uh, there's that. So uh, Moana two on the horizon. There. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is that we do have some departures from AEW. Uh, some people that left not too long ago. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, uh, oh, uh, so quite a few departures, not just from the releases, but uh, uh, even earlier this year. But uh, there were some recent departures. There's, uh, the first being Ethan Page, which makes sense. He's now in NXT and everything. And, uh, that's one of the downsides being uh, off, being off schedule as I am because I kind of took a week off. Is that I am behind on stuff, but. Uh, we'll, we'll make it through. So, uh, obviously, Ethan Page uh, finished up with AEW. Who uh, finished up with AEW? Who actually a while ago? Oh, uh, oh, uh, as far back as February, it looks like, according to reports. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, so oh, uh, Ethan Page, he, uh, he obviously now in NXT. He, uh, he, uh, he, uh, Mark Henry has decided not to renew. Uh, who? Uh, not to renew his contract as to part of AEW. Of course, Mark Henry was doing uh, the commentating uh, for uh, AEW Rampage. Age, uh, age, at least I think he still was. Uh, maybe we don't watch Rampage quite as often, but uh, 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 Arne Anderson also oh, uh, depart, has to part of AEW. Uh, who some people have speculated whether or not he'll show up in WWE. Cody Rhodes kind of teased that. Something like that, at what he said, uh, at, uh, Cody Rhodes, definitely all about, you know, old school saying he wants to have an old school manager. Of course, Arn Anderson was, uh, was Cody Rhodes' manager for a time, uh, while in AEW, who, uh, which gave us the, which gave us the ever-famous clip of, uh, of, uh, which is kind of ironic, considering Arn Anderson talk about putting the Glock on someone's forehead and spilling the brains out. Uh, maybe that's what Cody should have did at Mania 39. Maybe he would have won the championship there, but, but, uh, but yeah, so Arn Anderson and, uh, and is departing, and, and, and lastly, Jake Hager, or, uh, it's Jake Hager, uh, of course, four member of the inner circle, uh, aligned with Chris Jericho and everything, and then part of the Jericho Appreciation Society, but now no longer with AEW, which is kind of crazy to think about, because Jake Hager, not, he wasn't, like, necessarily day one, but he was there, or, uh, or actually, he, oh, ne never mind, I lied, so, I, uh, he said, Eddie, he was on premiere of with Dynamite, so he actually, so actually, uh, was day one on, um, I know he had been there for a uh, for a while, pretty, pretty much since the beginning, uh, and and, um, and seeing like some of the day ones no longer being a part of AEW is crazy thing about. It. There's another one, but that's for another episode of System Shock Radio later on down the line, which we'll talk about. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you may or may not know what I'm referring to, but uh, excuse me, but yeah. So, oh, uh, but we do have the departures there, and Mark Henry kind of a. Uh, uh, kind of a, uh, a day one, for, uh, not not quite day one, but also pretty early in AW. Same with uh, Arn Anderson and and, and uh, Ethan Page. I remember was 
I was there or, uh, for a while and had been there for a while. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that's kind of some like the departure. There's not like – it wasn't like – cut from the roster like like some of the other departures we had seen like uh, Stu Grayson and company that we saw like like a couple months ago but he's just like regular departures and everything but uh, yeah yeah but but uh the other thing that departed was Adam Copeland's tibia uh so oh uh I want to get the full uh, extent of Adam Copeland's injury because Adam Copeland is injured which you definitely saw coming based off the uh Bit haste off the landing. Hang, uh, hang, uh, <clears throat> based off the landing at uh, double or nothing. Hang, uh, so, oh, yeah, so he had a fractured tibia and uh, required surgery. He, and he, which you definitely, you definitely knew he was going to be injured based off the dive. So, oh, for those of you who are like, Nigel, how did, how did Adam Copeland slash Edge? Uh, I, I might just interchange between, you know, you know what's I'm, I'm just going to call him Edge. So, you might want to, Nigel, how did Edge get injured? Uh, Pretty much, he got injured the Macho Man Randy Savage way, where he dove off, off the top of the cage, age, uh, age on some Malachi Black during their uh, barbed wire cage match. At, at double or nothing, Adam Copeland landed right smack on his leg, and and and, and now has a fractured tibia. He, he was forced to vacate the TNT Championship, but I am honestly shocked that that's all he got. I'm, I'm glad. I'm thankful that's that's all that happened. But I am also surprised that that's all that happened and is the fractured tibia. But of course, uh, requiring surgery, he'll, he'll be on the shelf for a little bit. And uh, and a new TBS, uh, not TBS, a TNT champion is going to be crowned. In the meantime, they're doing kind of a tournament uh, hint uh, to crown a new TNT champion. And and. And, uh, in fact, I, I, as it's recording on this uh, episode of Dynamite that just happened uh, tonight, Jack Perry uh, beat Dustin Rhodes to advance in that. So it looks like it looks like Jack Perry's going to win the TNT Championship, which, it, uh, which granted, the Young Bucks were going to hand him the title anyway, a, uh, because screw it, why not? That's, uh, although it does kind of make sense in story, that being jo uh, Jack Perry winning for his team at Double or Nothing, but uh, Christopher Daniel holds, uh, said, no, no, who oh, uh, we're going to have a tournament. And uh, Christopher Daniels, of course, was fired by uh, the Young Bucks, Bucks but uh, was brought back in by Tony Khan. Uh, so well, kind of another wrinkle in that kind of like like hostile takeover AEW storyline that they have going on with the Young Bucks and Hucks and the Elite and everything. But yeah, so... Uh, we'll see how things unfold from there, and of course, wishing a very speedy recovery to Adam Copeland. And the last thing we're we'll talk about out here, here uh, on Sister Job Radio is you may have noticed uh, the first of the awful month reviews, whose are are trickling out on the channel. Now you may be wondering, Nigel, what is awful month? Uh, I've heard you talk about it before. I, or um, I vaguely remembered it from last year. Uh, what, what what exactly is awful month? Pretty much, uh, it's a new yearly tradition I've started here on the channel because, as, t as truth be told, when it comes to my reviews, I feel like I don't suffer enough. Of uh, so, uh, oh, for the month of uh, so for the month of June this year, uh, it was May last year, but of course uh, some stuff came up in May this year, so I pushed it back to June. But uh, throughout the month of June, we're looking at awful wrestling matches, awful movies. Awful video game games, just absolutely awful. The worst of the worst, the creme de la crap, uh, when it comes to uh, media, and it's a uh, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Uh, so we'll definitely strap in, and I got some some real good, or I guess in this case, really bad uh, choices. Is and. <laughs> And uh, we even changed up the format a little bit where uh, uh, normally I talk about what I like and dislike when it comes to my reviews, but uh, instead I'm doing the inverse, talking about what I dislike before talking about what I like. Like, what, like uh, mainly because, us, and that's kind of the idea this month, there'll be very little to say when it comes to the likes category, but but, uh, but, but uh, if you are here for my suffering, uh, please leave a like. I can leave a comment and subscribe for my suffering, of course. But, but, uh, but of course we do. Ha we will still have our regular reviews because we do have like wrestling events and uh, NXT Battleground, which that's gonna come out in the next couple of days. He's, uh, I just haven't gotten around to filming that review yet. And uh, Clash of the Castle is a Saturday. Hey, and uh, and Forbidden Door is later on. On uh. <laughs> 
uh, later on in the month as well. Uh, I, I mentioned it before, but it, how, it bears repeating here. For those three events, please be good. Like, like I'm already suffering enough with the off-month content that I'm doing for the channel, but uh, please be uh, some good events. But nevertheless, in the meantime, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below your reaction to anything I talked about in this episode. Uh, and thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.